Hi guys, it is almost afternoon or maybe it already is afternoon and I am stripping beds. We're getting ready to put the baby down for a nap and get a few homeschool lessons in. And Jacob is home today. He, um, his school is doing exams. And so some of the kids, like half the school doesn't have exams and the other half will have exams. So he's actually home today. And so he is working on cleaning the garage. And, um, I thought I'd bring you guys along again. You guys seem to like the vlog yesterday. And so I think I will do another one and just kind of bring you along as we go about our day. Um, mattress is bare. I have got to wash the, all of the comforter and everything, but I will have to do that at the laundromat. So that'll have to be on the to-do list today at some point, but my van battery has been dying. And so, um, I don't know if I want to risk getting stranded at the laundromat today, but I'm going to see if it'll crank and maybe we'll, maybe we'll try it out. We'll see. If not... Maddie got a new pair of overalls yesterday at Walmart, and she wants to show you guys. Here are her overalls. And this is the back. Oh, how lovely. She really, really wanted to get those, and she likes to play outside and things like that. So, it's pretty chilly, and so it seemed like a good day to wear some overalls, right? Yeah, and this long sleeve shirt because it's an apple long sleeve. Yeah. All right, let's go get some school lessons in, Missy. Okay, I don't think I've shown you guys, but we converted this sunroom into Maddie's bedroom slash guest room slash homeschool space. <laughs> it's like serving all kinds of multi-purposes here, but it's an excellent use of this space. So, I think I'll share this with you guys and kind of tell you our plans for the space. All right, so we got this new um, day bed. I found this on Facebook Marketplace and... It came with everything. It came with a mattress, mattress topper, bed sheets, um, this custom made little coverlet. It's actually really, really nice. Um, white is probably not the best thing in here, but we're gonna try to keep it clean. Kids are having some apples. It's very comfy. It's extremely comfortable. Um, and then this is actually in really good shape. Yeah, do you have an apple? Is it apple? I'm gonna throw the apple. Yeah, there you go. The seeds are showing. Good, good girl. All right, so then Maddie has her bed in here. It's quite a little bit of a mess, but that's to be expected. And then we have a couple of chairs for like our homeschool time. Um, I don't think I'm going to do any kind of desks in here, which I had originally sort of considered doing something like that, but we may just do like the fold up desk that we could kind of fold up, bring out, fold up. And then we have our um, bookshelves here that just kind of house what we're currently using. And then my homeschool storage I have in the garage, but I also have, I'll walk you guys through here. Here's all my sheets I have to wash. Ugh. I have our little library um, in this closet. So I'm keeping the majority of our books. And then up top, I have some more homeschool storage. We have Play-Doh and then our art supplies and then our microscope. Um, a little mini whiteboard chalkboard so I have some of our little manipulatives and stuff in this closet with our books and then I keep some of Solomon's toys in here as well so um, it's actually working pretty well and it's a really comfortable place for us to sit and do our homeschool yeah look and while we're doing our homeschool stuff we can sit on the bed and relax. Yeah, and it's really bright there's a lot of natural sunlight in this room it's very comfortable we got this rug um, on Craigslist, it was a brand new rug. Um, I forget where they had bought it from. But anyway, they have just... No, they just bought it online. They paid $400 for it. It's a 9 by 12 And it didn't work color-wise for them. And so they sold it for $100. And it actually matched the wall color, I thought, pretty well. And it's nice and bright. And so it really warmed this room up. And I'm really happy that we were able to get it. Um, so... Guys, there's that. You know why they call it the sunroom? Why? Because they have because the, they have this like sunny door with lots of windows and this lots of light, huh? Yeah. Lots of sun. All right, so we are currently going to sit and do our read alouds, do the language arts. Welcome to 
yeah, do our Bible study and all that fun stuff. So let's get going. Y'all pay attention to this, not that. Okay? Deal? Telling me the. Alright, let's do our um, devotion first. What's today's date? January 21st? Today is January 21st. Alright, snake eyes. Alright. The verse of the day is do not add or subtract from these commands I am giving you from the Lord your God. Just obey them. You can't tell me what's right or wrong. Chris stood on Jamie's porch, his hands balled into fists at his sides. The two boys had been playing a board game when suddenly Chris decided he would get to roll the dice again because he rolled snake eyes, two ones. When Jamie protested that there was no such rule, Chris got mad and threw the game pieces all over the porch. We just finished uh, the Castle in the Attic book. We've actually been reading. I have an issue with my hair. We have been reading this book for a long time. It's taken forever to finish this book, but we did finally finish it. Thank goodness. And so we can um, start a new read aloud soon. And now we are going to finish our homeschool. Uh, language arts. Right, bud? Language arts. So, Mason's going to get language arts done, and then Maddie will also do her language art. Say hi. Because, uh, I am. I am right here. I have to flip the camera. Yeah, because I'm not here. Right here. Right here. Hello. It's like a little square um, area for my garbage. And I'm, and I'm right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. She's over there. Well, it's time for you to do your... Um, your math and your language yeah. arts. Guys, I love this. I love this. I love this. Guys, I love my outfit. You love your outfit. And you need to put the crayons back because this dog right here is chewing them up. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't, buddy. All right. Between the dog and the toddler. School is a little rough today. All right, let's put that up, shall we? So we're having lunch. We're gonna do a macaroni and cheese today. Something quick and easy. I have got to get this baby in bed. It's like going on three o'clock and the baby is, he's definitely had, you know, it's way too late, but he's still getting a nap time today. Um, so we're gonna have our mac and cheese. He's going to bed. And then I have to figure out laundry and finish our schoolwork. I wanted to show you guys two things. So, the first thing I wanted to show you is my little crochet um, basket that I made. And I did this using the pattern from All About Amy. It's a um, blog, crochet blog. I think she actually knits too. But um, I learned about this from a friend on Instagram. And I decided to give it a try, and I'm using it to hold my little K-cups, and it's, it was so easy, and it's actually pretty sturdy. You use a two-strand combo of, like, some um, chunky yarn, and so um, I really like it. So, check that out, All About Amy. It's A-M-I, and then um, also I am making Amish friendship bread, and so this is my starter. And the directions. So if you guys are interested, leave me a comment and we can kind of um, walk through. I may do another starter and we can kind of walk through this. But at the end, it makes a really delicious, it's almost like a sourdough, um, like a sourdough starter, but it ends up with a really sweet batter. For, ooh, look what we got here. We got a bit of an uh, overflow almost. Let me start a little bit. Um, anyway, the Amish French bread is really yummy. It's a sweet bread and it's like cinnamon sugary. You can add nuts and raisins. Mason, please help me out with the baby. Uh -oh. Nope, I want the baby. Don't want the baby. Baby, baby, baby. And this is going to overflow. 
Look at all that. There we go. So we finally got baby down for a nap. Mason and I are doing our language arts. His lesson today was pretty long. So we're going through it. We're literally just starting his language arts for the year. Um, we've been just doing um, kind of eclectic kind of thing and not really starting his formal um, language arts lesson for the year, but we're actually starting his curriculum. Um, it is the good and the beautiful and we're just starting that for the year. So we'll definitely be a little bit behind, but that's okay. Guys. I have my um, LOLs and this is, um, okay, but this is, hurry up because I gotta okay, finish. This is um, Little Unicorn and then this is Empty Swag. She has the cutest little outfit. Mm hmm Okay. Maddie's playing. Baby's down finally so we have a moment of peace and quiet. And then Mason is doing his and language arts. Language arts. Yes. Guys, look what I'm playing with. Um, pretty fun. Guys, look what I'm playing with. So this is this is what I'm um doing. So my baby doll's right here. Look at this. Mason. <laughs> like, so my baby doll's right here. Her name is Summer, and she's really sick. She's sick. Aww. Yeah. And I'm making food for her. I, I don't have a spoon, so I'm just using a pencil. So I'm going to pretend this is the, the top of this. And then, I, and then this is her tea. And this is um, a muffin when she's done. Some mini cupcakes. And then I have the sugar. It's a, shop, it's a shop again. And I have some soup. And then these are some surprises. Um, surprise LOL dolls. And then this is um, a LOL card. And mm -hmm. I have the sunscreen for her. When she gets better, she can go to the pool. Very good. All right. Did you finish? Yeah. Okay. So Mason is working on the silent E rules. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We're learning all about the silent E rules, which I think he knew already, but it's a good review. Mm -hmm. And we're basically reviewing uh, root words and dropping E, adding E's. Wait a minute. Let me see what this says. You misspelled this word right here. Yep. R E C. There you go. Okay, so he was basically converting the word with the ing um, back to the base word, and so he was adding that e back on. So, so compete, good. Drive, change, include, bake, and then here you drop the e and add ing. Wait a minute. You forgot to do that here. And then smoking, hiking, having, serving. Good. Excellent job. Okay, so let's go back. And um, again, this is the good and the beautiful. This is level three. Even though he's fourth grade, they're kind of advanced. So we started on the number lower. So um, it's a it's a really good program. All right, what's next? Wait a minute, we did this. I love that there's boxes to check off. Okay, so let's read the next one. English words usually cannot end in V or U. Silent E, job number four, is to end a word with E so that the word does not end in a V or a U. Okay, so read the following words and tell which ones use silent E, job four. What's job four? So that the word doesn't end in a V or U. So if the E comes after a V or a U, it's job four. Comes after a V, we automatically know that that is four. job four. Job four, job four, job four. And especially if the E's not making the I long, then it would be job one. Okay, so native. That's job four. We'll four. circle it. Um, this is also four. This Captive. Is also four. This is also four. This is 
I mean, this would be, oh wait, hang on, this would be. Job one, two, three, or four. Don't cheat. I'm not cheating. It's job two. Comes after the G and makes it say the J sound. Relative. Be oh, careful. Gosh. Wait, wait, you guys. Okay. okay. Uh, mm hmm. Uh, maybe this would be job three. Nope. One. Job one. Yes. Yep. Don't uh, circle. Don't, yeah. Yep, that's job one. The E makes the vowel before it long. So calculate. Okay, moving on. Um, this is dictation. I should be reading these words and having him write them down just from hearing them. But instead, I we re usually read them together and then I have him kind of study the word to learn how to spell it. So um, relative. What is this? Curve. 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 Sensitive, say it clearly. You? Yep. Tree. Okay. Tree. So T R U E, argue. A R G U E. You see how these are all in and E's and serving these purposes for the rules. Okay. And um, we're not going to blow up balloons. We don't have any Sometimes balloons. there's like little activities, but we don't have balloons. We don't have so balloons. we'll just. We're just going to do our own thing with this, right? Are you mumbling? No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're now on to Maddie's language arts, and we are working on her, the Good and the Beautiful language arts, and she's memorizing a new poem called Sunshine by Jenny Phillips, and so the way we do that is we just repeat a couple of the lines over and over and over and over and over. So this one is what? Don't make funny okay. faces. <laughs> The sun shines. The sun shines on my toes, above, above on, on my, my face, and uh, and on my nose. Good job. Bye. Let's do it again. Do it okay. Again? The sun shines on my toes, on my face, and on my nose. Good job. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see her curriculum. Oop. All right. So. This is the poem that she's working through. So today, since we just started today, she'll just memorize this section. And then tomorrow we'll work on the rest of it. It kisses the tops of all the trees, each blade of grass, each buzzing bee. I'm so glad that God above made warm, sweet light for me. And then she will be able to recite all that and perform that for someone. Probably her daddy, right? No. <laughs> All right. I will, I will uh, do it for my teacher, but not my dad. Yes, you will. Uh, all right, so what are the names of all the vowels? Tell me the vowels. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Yes, and a long vowel says it's? Name. Yes, and every word has to have at least one vowel, right? Mm -hmm. Vowels can be either short or long, and when a vowel says its name, it's the long sound. When it does not say its name, it's the... What is it? I forgot it. If it does not say its name, is it long or short? Uh, yep. Short. Okay. Okay. So point to each vowel and say its short sound. Uh, short sounds. Ready? A. Nope. Short. A. E. 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 You just. A, yep. A. U. Uh. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. And this one can also say not ah, but ah, right? Wait, Sometimes wait. it says ah. Yeah. Mm hmm. But how? <laughs> All right. So ah, eh, e, ah, uh. Ooh. All right. Let's say the long, the long sounds. A. Yep. A. E. I. O. U. N. Sometimes Y. Good. All right. So before I, E, or Y. Okay. There's a knock. Is it a kid? So our homeschool day is over and I am so tired. <laughs> I want a nap so bad, but I don't know if I'll actually sleep. I think I'm just going to lay here and relax a little bit. I need to make a um, chili. I think that's what we're going to have for dinner. Chili and cornbread. But when Jimmy comes home, we have to go to the laundromat. And my battery in my van is dead, so I'm assuming we'll probably have to go buy a battery for that, too. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to rest a little bit. I should probably get the chili on, but I'm going to take 30 or 45 minutes just to lay here. And Maddie has a little friend over, so they're playing. 
Can um can my friend have um a snack? Mm-mm. Nope, no snacks right now. <sighs> so I've been doing pretty good as far as my nausea goes. Um the past couple days I've been doing pretty good. I get a little nauseous every single time I eat. So it doesn't matter what I eat, <laughs> I get sick. Um, but then if I don't eat, I get sick too. So, um, it's a little tricky, but, um, otherwise I just kind of tire out toward the end of the day really, really quickly. And that's normal for me with my pregnancies. Um, so the fatigue, the nausea, I'm hoping I'm coming to the end of it. I'm 14 weeks and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so ready to be like 20 weeks pregnant because that's sort of when I feel the best. So looking forward to that. I have to go back to work on Thursday and not looking forward to that. But I've had a nice little break and my body's been able to kind of recuperate, which is good. And I'm able to like get my thyroid and everything hopefully back on track. I'm up to 275 micrograms, which is up from 200 micrograms um, before. And even at that, my TSH was 11 point, I think, 9. <laughs> and it should be below a 2.0. Um, it should be like point oh something and then up to 2 at the most. So mine being 11 is really, really, really bad. <laughs> And it's really bad for the baby. So, I'm hoping that things are improving. Um, I'm still taking a prenatal vitamin. And I've also added some colace. <laughs> My system is just not moving. So, I've added some colace to help things along. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can update you guys on. Um, emotionally, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Um, somebody mentioned that they felt like I was really not myself and really stressed or something in the last video, but honestly, I feel fine. I'm just, you're probably just sensing my fatigue and nausea. A lot of people say that I don't, um, appear to be myself sometimes when I vlog when in the early days of pregnancy. And the reason is because I'm usually just, um, tired <laughs> and nauseous. <laughs> so anyway um that's probably what that is but otherwise things are really good um i'm feeling the baby move which is exciting and that's always fun to feel a little kick here and there and reassuring um what else can i tell you guys i've been craving sour which is not unusual. Like, I don't really like sweet stuff um, a whole lot right now. I just want, like, you know, pickles, <laughs> pickle juice, vinegar, anything, like, you know, I guess fermented and stuff like that is what I want. Um, what else? What else? What else? A little out of breath, which is kind of strange. Oh, the weirdest thing for me so far this pregnancy is I'm already feeling, like, growing pain. Like, um, I think it's, like, round ligament pain, but, like, that you get really low. You know what I mean? Like, pelvic pain, which is really, really early for that for me. So, it's kind of concerning. I hope it doesn't get even more worse. Um, but... It was even a little hard to walk yesterday, so I don't know what that's all about, but I have a feeling that my muscles and ligaments are probably just tired and worn out from being pregnant and stuff, and so they hurt a little earlier now. But anyway, um, I guess that's basically it. So I'm going to lay here and rest, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Do you want to say hello? <laughs> little man is up. He is with us. He is with us. Were you crying? Were you? Mama. You were crying for mom? Were you? You were crying for your mommy? Hmm? And Dada? And Dada's on his way home. Dada's on his way home. 
Uh, then we get bye. to go, huh? Uh, bye. He went bye bye, Dada. Yeah. Uh, he went to work. Uh, <laughs> this little guy. So he's um he's working hard on his speech, but bless his heart, he's still got a long way to go. Um. I had called, before all the chaos with this pregnancy, I had called a speech pathologist to schedule an evaluation for him, um, and then they called me back, and then I called them back, so we played phone tag a little bit, but then I haven't called to schedule his appointment, so I need to get him in for that, because I really think he could probably benefit from some speech therapy, but um, <laughs> he's doing okay, he's doing okay. <laughs> Sleepy, are you sleepy, man? Here, take this out first. Boop. <laughs> what do you want to say? What do you want to say? Ball. No ball. What? Ball. You want a ball? Yeah. What else? <laughs> it's tired. So Jimmy's on his way home. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, tonight is going to be nothing but laundromat and probably like leftovers for dinner because I hit a slump. <laughs> I did not take a nap, but I just laid here for a little bit. Um, I've got a little bit of a head cold and I just think that we'll probably just do sandwiches or something easy for dinner. I've cooked for the last couple days. so I hate leftovers. We could do leftovers tonight. Um, and we have to go to laundromat anyway, so. You know that um, stuff that we ate last night when Brandon was here? I, yes. I hate that stuff. You it, did it, gives like... me, it gives me acid reflux. <laughs> it gives me heart. It does? Okay. Bless. Bless our little yeah, sweet yeah. Heart belly. Acid reflux. Yeah. <laughs> I am both. All right, so let's tell everyone good night. We will see them tomorrow. Bye. 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 <laughs>